Anytime you get a group of, of kids together, it, everything starts as playing and then turns into a fight. You got, I want you guys to say sorry to each other. Sorry for hitting him, right? Which was wrong. Do you say sorry for hitting him too, okay? Once I find out about that, we bring them together and, and I let them know this, this is, that's not a team. You don't name call, you, you support your other players. You work together to raise everyone else up. Hey, when you're ready, you guys can come out and play again anytime. Talk to, talk to Eric, Eric, talk to Kevin. Figure this out, guys. My name is Paul. I grew up in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, in Canada. Um, I played hockey until I was 16 years old. When I first got here, it wasn't, it wasn't what I thought it was. The biggest obstacle that I have is, is communicating with the players. I, I always teach in English. I think all of our players speak some level of English. But there are always challenges. There are always challenges and obstacles when it comes to language. There is, you know, when you're trying to explain things, and it can be frustrating, for sure. But you just take time, and, and you draw on the board, and you use visual clues. Sometimes you have to, you know, physically skate with them and say, here, here's where we go. Here's where we go, every time. And that gives them the understanding. that make me want to continue are the small ones. Eyes up. Good position. When you go out and, and you spend day after day on a skill or on a certain aspect of the game, when you think they have it and you move on, but you have to go back to it and you move on and you have to go back to it. Stop. It's not this. Okay, all we're doing is rolling And then all of a sudden one day, in a shinny hockey game, you watch a player who you know you worked with hard on. You watch him go and execute it perfectly. Exactly what you told him to do. And it works out perfectly for him. Those are the days, wow, you, you're excited, you're, you're happy. You, you did something. You taught another human being something. This is up for art. Oh! oh. That's bad. Sit their kids all over the world. There, there really is no difference. When it comes to getting on the ice, they all want to have fun. Um, everyone always wants to succeed. And, you know, they're eager to learn. They really are. The biggest difference as far as hockey goes is that in Canada, they grow up with it more. So in China, we need to teach a little bit more. Joy, mean face. I know from Jaden and Jerry and Jason and Tony and I know these players um, from the first day I was here till today. I know how much they've improved. I know how much we've worked and I know that I haven't done it through bullying them. I haven't done it through forcing them. They've come out and they've worked hard and, and yeah, as a coach you're going to get frustrated and you raise your voice to kind of pull them all back in. But they've been a huge part of doing that, of getting better, of, of becoming you know, better hockey players. Everybody, good job. <laughs> Tough game. <laughs> Tough game. <laughs> That's what you get out of it. To see their love of the game start to grow. To see it become something important in their lives. Those are the moments you live with. Those are the moments that, that you're happy with. 